Hello, it's Robert Kelly from the Gloucester Museum of History, and today we're joining you from Buckstore Museum down in Guinea. I want to tell you about a great new tour program that we just unveiled, the Guinea Heritage Driving Tour. It is a brochure, it is also available online, and this tour features 12 stops through the Guinea community. They include churches and local businesses, there's some cemeteries, it's just a wonderful way for folks, both local and out of town visitors to experience a section of Gloucester County that hasn't really been explored too much by outsiders. I'm really particularly excited about this because it gets folks uh, back into some of the natural sections of Gloucester County where we can really begin to see some of our beautiful waterways. We have some of the most beautiful bays and creeks and rivers of anywhere in Virginia. And within this tour are several stops that are great for viewing wildlife, but also wonderful for launching a kayak. So you can not only see the water, but actually get out to the water. Throughout the seasons, you'll see different things. Uh, for example, when you drive through uh, Guinea in the, when the winter time, you'll see a lot of migratory ducks and migratory birds and bald eagle and that type of thing. In the summertime, you see osprey. They're just everywhere making their nests and fishing and pelicans. And it's just really exciting to see how the uh, seasons change, but it's very accessible. We also did an audio component to the tour. So if you use the online app, the tour stops have actually been recorded. Uh, by local folks here in the community. So you can hear about local history from local voices. It's just really, really cool. It was a lot of fun uh, to put together. And now, since we're here at Buckstore Museum, I'd like to pass you off to a good friend and colleague of mine, Hamilton Williams, who's a local historian, who's gonna tell you a little bit more about Buckstore, which is the first stop on the tour and really the anchor of the Guinea Heritage Driving Tour. You are standing in the oldest part of the store, which was built in the late 1880s. Joe Hall came home from the Civil War uh, married, raised his family. He built this little tiny part of the store and put two of his sons in business here. And they stayed in business until the early 1900s. It wasn't until 1920 that Buck's dad decided in looking at this little derelict building over here that he could make this into his own store. So he leased the building in 1920, which happened to be the same year Buck was born. Named the business C.B. Rowe and Son, even at that early age, and started his business here. Buck took over the store running it full time by himself in the early 70s, mid to early 70s. And then Buck passed away in 2005. He gave the store to a group of trustees of his own choosing for a Guinea museum. That was his dream. However, he didn't endow the store. So the same guys that used to meet here every morning with Buck and discuss the world's problems and solve them and talk about who caught how many fish, they still come today. They brew their coffee here, but they sell it back to themselves for two bucks a cup. From 2005, when Buck died until 2016, when it was transferred to Guinea Heritage Association, that $2 a cup coffee is what kept the electricity on and paid the insurance. We've added a bathroom and a handicap ramp and now new siding and new roof. And we're finally getting a handle on this thing called Buck Store Museum. And it's a spot of pride and joy to all of us that work here. It's a fun place and we enjoy it. And we're so glad to have you visiting with us today.